What worth anything in life is easy? Nothing. Everything involves resistance. And so it was the resistance that was pulling me into the Marine Corps to begin with. So I chased that. And I was fortunate I got a scholarship to University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. UNC was a no-brainer for me uh, because I remember reading the admissions booklet. And you know, every now and then, I was talking earlier with, with um, some of your, the, the hospital's leadership about big data and like distilling a lot of information into one elegant number. Every now and then, an elegant number will just come out and it'll just say so much. It'll embody so much. Can anybody guess what that was from the admissions booklet? Zero. No. 65% of what? Yes, of course. <laughs> well done. So 65% female. I was going there. I followed it. Chase the dream. <laughs> and I, and I, and I got, had this ROTC scholarship, so I knew I was going into the military. And as, I was, and as I was going through this experience, I started to realize something. And that was that my father, the, the first mentors that I had had, and many of the officers who I most admired, officers like that captain in this photograph, Captain Mike DeBrule, the best ones weren't entirely defined by their identity as Marines. They weren't. They were great at their job. They were tactically proficient, as we'd say. They took a, a lot of the core values and they led with them. But they had interests and lives that were far beyond just the military. And I didn't understand how they did it. 